We're going to do one together. Pick one of the white pieces of paper out of the trays in the middle of your table. Before we start cutting, we should always draw first. Before I'm even going to draw the shape of my leaf, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to fold the paper in half. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. It can be mismatched. It's not a big deal. Now there's two sides to this rectangle that I've made. One side that's open and has a mouth. Those are the edges. And one side that has a fold that where the paper comes together. The side we're drawing against is our folded line. If you draw on this side, you won't get a symmetrical shape. You'll get two halves that fall apart. So what I like to do to make sure I'm drawing on the side that has this fold right here and not these two edges is I find the fold with my finger and then on that fold I'll make two X's, one at the top and one at the bottom. Just like that. Now I'm going to start my shape on the first X, draw my tree shape and end on the second X at the bottom. The first one, I'm going to do something simple and it's just going to be two little, almost like two little hills or an M shape. I started on the fold. I made a dip, but I didn't go all the way in and then I ended on the fold. Your line should only touch in two places when it starts and stops. It should not touch if you go in in the middle. It should stay far away. Before I cut, I'm going to open up and check if this is touching the folded line. That's touching the folded line. I'm going to close it and now I'm going to cut. I should get one shape that is symmetrical. You are going to start cutting your tree shapes out of the colored paper. Um, you'll probably be able to fit about five or six trees in your picture. I'm actually measuring all mine out now uh, but you could do it one at a time. I just want to plan out where each tree is going to go. We're going to do the same thing we did with the white practice ones last week. Remember, everything is symmetrical. I am folding it in half first, and I'm only going to draw half of the shape. Remember to start your pencil tip on the folded line and draw away from it. Make sure as you're making your shape, your pencil tip touches the fold again last, right where it starts and where it ends. Now, I forgot to check to see if my shape was facing the right way. Don't forget, open up your paper before you start to cut. Just double check that it's working. I'm opening it now and I did use the right side. The fold was in the middle, so it will fit. After each shape is cut, glue them down. I'm taking my glue stick and going over the entire shape, not just one spot. I want the whole thing to stick. Don't turn your glue stick up too high. Make sure it's up just a little bit and you're not pressing so hard that the glue smushes. So I'm gluing my last shape and placing it on my picture. They can touch and overlap. In fact, it will look more like a forest if you do that. Rub it down or hold it with your hand. 